Hello ladies and gentlemen. Today we are going to learn about the life cycle of our star, the sun. Our sun has continuously been going through a life cycle, much like living things and humans go through a life cycle. The sun was born and it's matured and it will one day die. Here you can see images depicting the life cycle of our sun as well as the time lapse that has taken place and the predicted time lapse that will take place. Now we are going to go through each step in our sun's life cycle and discuss what this means. A long, long time ago, our sun was nothing more than a cloud of dust and gas in our galaxy. When there is a cloud of dust and gas in outer space, we call this a nebula. A nebula forms when remnants of dust and gas clump together due to the force of gravity and form a cloud, so to speak. Some of the dust and gases clump so close together they form a core and this material begins to increase in temperature. As it continues to build in mass and increase in temperature, it begins to transition to a main sequence star. A main sequence star is the stage our sun is currently in. This is the longest stage of a star's life. A process called nuclear fusion takes place on stars during this stage and this acts as our sun's fuel. Nuclear fusion is when atoms react and produce energy. The main form of energy released is heat. The diagram we are looking at is called a hertzsprung russell diagram. This diagram shows how we classify different stars based on luminosity, color, and temperature. Luminosity is how bright the star is. Our sun has average luminosity, color, and temperature. As our sun continues to go through this main sequence stage, it is starting to run out of fuel. Once our sun runs out of fuel in the core, we get to our next phase. Our sun will then be a red giant. As the core runs out of fuel for nuclear fusion, it will start to collapse in itself. The core will increase in temperature, which will cause the outer layers of our sun to expand and get larger. Nuclear fusion will still be occurring in the sun's outer layers. As it gets hotter and hotter, the dust and gases from the outer layers begin to get pushed off and start to form a cloud around itself. This cloud is called a planetary nebula. Eventually, all we will see is the extremely hot core. This is called a white dwarf star. A white dwarf is small, extremely dense, and starts off burning very bright until the core cools down. As it cools down, it will get fainter and fainter.